Hey, what up guys? It's me again back in again with another video. Hope you guys are doing well. So guys, um, in this video, we're going to be dissecting the Kyber Corporation Cup, going over the most common decks that people are using. Hopefully, I can show you guys the deck, the top deck you should use in the KC Cup. So guys, that this is the video for you guys. Hopefully, this video is informative and help you guys. So guys, that, let's quickly go over the deck list, guys. So the first decks that the people are commonly using in the KC Cup is Cyber Angel deck. As much as it pay me to say this, but Cyber Angel deck is the is still a top tier deck at the moment. Even with the nerf, it's still a good deck. So guys, uh, as you can tell, um, I don't have Superior in this version of the deck since I'm a free to play. I don't have all the cards at my disposal. So yeah, um, keep in mind the deck that I'll be showcasing um, in this video. I don't have all those cards for it, so what I did was um, I photoshopped the deck list and posted it on the side so you can use it as a visual preference. So there's that. So you guys yeah, obviously this deck on the side is gonna be the optimized version. So I did you might run off superior in this deck. That card is mainly used as a tech card, right? You don't wanna use that card as a you don't wanna build the deck around that card, right? You just mainly you wanna use that card as a tech card. Pretty nice card guys, so yeah. I came across um, someone using the deck on the ladder. It's pretty strong deck, guys. It's very, it has very good effect. So, guys, you should definitely consider running in the Cyber Engine deck. Pretty good. Um, I've seen other people running um, Cosmic Cyclone as well as um, Into the Void in their Cyber Engine deck. So, you may consider running those cards as well. Pretty good. So, guys, this is still a top tier deck, even with a nerf. Very good deck, guys. So, guys, if you guys want to get consistent with it, definitely use some um, cyber angel deck so guys that uh, this is the first um, deck that I'm gonna be showing guys so let me go ahead and show you guys the second deck let me switch up the characters so guys the majority of the decks I don't have all the card for it so I'm reposing the photoshop version on the side so guys uh, as you can guess it the second deck the top deck that you should use in KC Cub is Red Eye Zombie deck. So yeah guys, I'm surprising me even with the significant nerf to Red Eye Zombie um, deck. It's still a pretty um, strong deck nevertheless. It got nerfed, Red Eye Spirit got nerfed too, right? So it got hit pretty hard. Plus um, the introduction of uh, Wall of Disruption kind of hurt this deck as well. So yeah, um, yeah obviously this deck is pretty consistent. Um, I use this version of the deck to get from level 1 to level 12 on my second account. So it's pretty good. So guys, yeah, um, you always, like, you don't even need to run a third copy of Red Eye Zombie. Like, two is fine since, um, majority of the time you don't even get out your, um, third Red Eye Zombie anyway. So two is perfectly fine. And since, um, Red Eye Insight, I mean, Red Eye Spirit got nerfed. You don't really need to get a chance to use the third Red Eye Sensor, right? So it's mainly gonna be a dead card, right? So that's why you may you wanna use some um, Storm so you can get rid of your dead card, right? So yeah, this is mainly why we have it, Storm. You may consider adding um second anti magic arrows and consider taking out one of the Red Eyes inside. Um, occasionally I will use second anti magic arrows. It's a very good card, guys. So you guys. Yeah, obviously the optimal version of the deck list is on the side. Since I don't have all the cards for it, since I'm a free to player, I don't have all the cards at my disposal. So yeah, this is still a pretty good deck, guys. So you may consider use, using this deck um, in the KC Cup. Let me go ahead and show you guys the third deck that you should use in the KC Cup. Wait, do I have it in this deck? I don't think I have it, right? Oh yeah, ninja, ninja, ninja. I'm gonna change to ninja. Do I even save it in this car? I'm not quite sure. Okay, I'll have ninja in this stack. So you guys got the next deck list is gonna be um ninja deck so yeah let me sh show you guys uh, the deck list on the side so you guys that uh, obviously the deck 
is gonna consist of ninja cards, right? I don't have the deckness on my screen at the moment since I don't have the card in this account, but I do have the some of the card on my second account. So you guys, yeah, let me go with the deck. List. So ninja deck is still a pretty good deck um, in this ladder. Um, it's still like it still put up a lot of work in the mana. I came across a few um, ninja deck and I, I, I kind of struggle against them. So guys, uh, they're still a pretty um, strong deck to use. So guys, you're gonna definitely be seeing a lot of um, ninja deck in KC Cub. They're very strong deck, guys. Don't sleep on ninja deck. They're very strong um, deck. Like they have a lot of cards that to get rid of your monster as well as your back row. Right? That's the very devastating combo with the black ninja dragon cards that let you let them banish monster on the on your field. Right? Plus um. With Red Dragon Ninja, it could um, send any um, set card to your hand, right? That's a very devastating combo, guys. So, guys, the Ninja's deck is is very good deck, guys. I, I consider them as a tier 1 deck, guys, in my opinion. They're very good deck, guys. Like, occasionally, people are gonna say that, uh, like, Ninja deck are good against, um, every other deck, but they already lose to Cyber Ninja deck, right? But that's technically true, but yeah, but... This is a pretty good deck guys, so yeah. The ninja deck is a very good deck to use in KC Cup, so yeah, you may consider using that deck. Let me go ahead and show you guys the fourth deck. Except our savings, so we yeah, have the fourth deck is gonna be Gladiator Beast deck, as you can tell. Go ahead and show you guys the Gladiator Beast. Do I even have it? There we go, Gladiator Beast. So like I'm saying guys, like oh, I don't have all the cards for the, the deck list, right? So we guys that these these are the only cards I have in on this account. So obviously Gladiator Beast is a pretty good deck. I consider them as tier two deck. Um they're very strong guys. Like once you get out your combo, it's very hard for you to to um get over those monsters right they're very strong deck guys like they send they like they have a lot of cards that will let, let them destroy your back row as well as monster right like Mermelo let you let them destroy your monster and then this Sherry let them destroy your back row right? a very strong deck guys like don't sleep on Gladiator Gladiator is a very good deck so you guys yeah I don't, unfortunately I don't have all the cards I don't have I don't even have a single but Gladiator Beast cards guys. I haven't even touched the new box here, Galactic like Origin, so I can't showcase the deck list. So uh, based on my information I gathered so far, um this is the deck list that I came up with. Like I'm really good at theory crafting, so this is the deck you should run. Um, I've seen a couple of people running um called like um Dimension uh what's it called Dimension Gate in the deck. It's pretty good. They also run all the cards as well. You may consider adding a third um floodgate if you want. But yeah, third um half shot is good as well. You may consider running chalice in this deck as well, pretty good. So because uh, as we tell we're running balance, balance is really good guys. Because like one of the weaknesses of Gladiator Beast is um they run like anywhere from five to seven monsters, right? So the weakness of the deck of, of the Gladiator Beast is the monster removal card, right? So like tribute to the dooms, um soul of exchange, psychokinesis, um all those cards come to Gladly Beast, right? So, so that wa that's why um you wanna run more than five monsters in the stack, right? So you can count those deck. So guys, still they're pretty good deck, guys. Like I consider them tier two. So guys, you may you may definitely see this deck um in KC Cup. So I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of people use this. Like right now, not a lot of people have this deck. So people are gonna. Um, Majority of the matches, the people are gonna won't lose because of the surprise factor, right? So keep that in mind, guys. So yeah, yeah. This is one deck you should consider using in the KC Cup. Very good. So let me go ahead and show you guys the fifth deck. Uh, obviously, you know, you know what deck I'm gonna be showing, guys. It's my favorite deck, guys. This is the deck that I used to. Get yeah, do level 20, psychic deck, my favorite deck. Like this deck 
It's insane consistent guys like you should definitely try this deck out So yeah second deck pretty good guys like the only deck that this deck struggle against are Cyber Angel and we were burned other than that like this deck demolishes every other deck guys really good decks so guys I really showcase this um this deck on this channel so if you guys want to check out how this de deck works um I link to that video so definitely check that out so yeah this deck is really good guys we have a a lot of cards to get rid of I'll open it back we have this like Chan um number of extermination and second Phoenix so we have like what seven ways of getting rid of our opponent back right including a balance skill so we have seven wheel back so that's a big devastating combo really good because the Nubis and what's the tackle to counter gravity beast deck really good and because the Nubis also counter a wall of disruption so yeah pretty good guys reinforcement human second book to counter um red eye zombie what other cards um Econ to counter Cyber Angels. That uh, overall, this is a very versatile deck, guys. Because that uh, this deck is really good, guys. This is my favorite deck, guys. Bandit skill is what makes this deck insane good, guys. So yeah, this is the fifth deck that you should consider using in the KC Cup. Pretty good. Finally, let me go ahead and show you guys the last deck that you should use in KC Cup. This is the second most um, common deck in the KC Cup at the moment. The app. I've experienced so far like Ancient Gears and Cyber Engine deck are the most common deck on the ladder at the moment. There's a uh, many way of playing um Ancient Gears deck guys. This is my variant of the deck. Um because that uh, pretty much the standard Ancient Gear deck consists of um two Ancient Gear Golem, three Sergeant El Electro, three Heavy Knight, three Enemy Controller, and basically the rest of the cards you can basically add any cards you want so guys feel free to add any card like here in my version I'm running on um, gravity blaster wall of disruption and rare metamorph and mail wall right and I also added um spirit creeper as well pretty nice tech card guys the reason we're running our uh, gravity blaster is because um it's pretty good against um rare matches as well as um to get rid of an effect monster pretty good although we would have um intricate beast which basically does the same thing so guys, uh, you also have a um, rare metamorph to negate any um, econ take and stuff. Pretty good. Wall of disruption and um, my wall is big. Get back real cards. So guys, intricate is surprisingly a really good deck at the moment, guys. Like it's very free to play friendly deck, guys. Like surprisingly, it's doing really well on the ladder, right? Because uh, this is my version of the deck. Obviously, there's gonna be many variants of this deck going around. Feel free to use whatever tech card you want add to the stack so because that uh, this is the sixth tool um some of the honorable mention are um phoenix decks and um weaver burn deck and venus deck those are honorable mention deck that you may consider running in the casey cup obviously there's gonna be um other decks as well that are gonna come out of nowhere and it's gonna be a surprise factor so guys uh, i wouldn't be surprised if there's a uh, another deck people gonna start be using like like there's gonna be a lot of uh, unique deck that's gonna be com that's coming out of uh, KC Cup right I'm definitely excited about that um so you guys yeah so that uh, those are the top decks that you should use in KC Cup guys so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and hopefully this video is informative this is uh, my dissection on the current KC Cup at the moment like based on my experience and all the information I've gathered so far these are the decks that people are using in the KC Cup at the moment or you, or you should use this in this KC Cup so guys yeah hope you guys enjoyed the video I'm gonna end the video guys if you guys enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up and share it if you guys want to see some videos subscribe to my channel I'll try to bring out some videos when I can so guys I don't wanna make this video too long so, so guys yeah hopefully um I can hit um top 500 in second stage so guys that second stage coming up what Government 17, so it's, it's, it's very soon, guys. I'm very stoked about that, guys. So, yeah, definitely, um, do KZ Cup, guys. Like, the rewards is very good, guys. So, anyway, yeah, until next time, later.